Hey, this is Trina, and you're watching BossUp.com. I've been completing my album. It's the sixth album. I'm really excited about it. Um, I just dropped my first record with Tory Lanez. That's the damn record. That's the new single. And we just came back around this time. I said, listen, I need you to do another record, but I need this to be a single for my album. And he was like, okay, I got you. And we just went to the studio, and we did damn. You know, it took like almost three years to complete the album, like two and a half years, just because I'm traveling. And I, I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to, to, it to be perceived this time for the fans, you know? So I took my time, and I'm finished, and I'm happy. I don't really know when the transition kind of came from. When Pullover came out, if like girls just, you know, they was curvilicious, they had a nice body, it was a normal thing, everybody saw it. At some point after that, it started becoming like an epidemic of like, whoa, every, she got a bigger butt, her butt, everybody butt just like started getting big. So I think that became like a bigger thing. It, it, it was bigger than me starting pullover, you know? And I mean, I don't know, to each his own, I, I just was thinking like, you know, as women, it, it just, I'm not really surprised because I see it a lot. You know what I mean? I see like that in Miami a lot, but I'm, before the new butts came out, I'm just used to seeing like girls already have a nice body, you know? And I mean, the, as, the exaggerated now, it's like, it's you, it, it's, if it's your thing, if you like it, you know? I don't know, I just remember him wanting a tattoo and I just remember, um, I remember just putting on like red lipstick and kissing a paper and it was just done. The guy was there, he just did it. Cause it's like right there, you can see it. I was just like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. I'm just, I've been asked, I've been, I've, I've been around the situation, I've been talked to about it. Um, I have my reserves for it. Um, I watch the show, you know, it's entertaining. Um, I just think for myself with reality TV, I just need to know for sure before I take a step to something like exactly what I'm getting myself into when it comes to, because I mean, business, I mean, music and maybe if you hear I'm dating somebody, that stuff always comes out. But besides like that, my, like personally, my inside personal life is always private. And I like it like that, kind of. I just know now in my career and, and where I'm at right now, I'm, I'm so solid. I'm so, I am a grown woman. I can handle whatever comes my way. <laughs> Um, you know what, to me, when, like, to me, that's just like, you just gotta be strong. And no matter what is thrown at you, like you have to just be strong. Like from, from 25, from that age on up, like you go through so much. It's not gonna be good. People are not gonna always like you or say good things about you. Even if they don't know you, they're gonna find something to say. Like you gotta be solid. Like you gotta be able to like hold your own weight. Don't depend on nobody. Don't be dependent of nobody. I just feel like even if you're in a situation, relationship, marriage, anything, you still have to make sure you're good. This is the stuff that I like suggest to them. That's why I'm just thinking like to be the badge, you have to be strong and dependent and focused and like handle your business, make sure you are good. Like you are the only person that really, really have you. Like when you leave this earth, it's only gonna be you. So you need to make sure you take care of that.